Hello everyone, welcome back. This is Carson Cloud. Thank you for watching my video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. My channel will, will cover Configuration Manager, Azure, Office 365, and everything related, related to Office or Windows deployment. Application deployment, Windows 10 deployment, through Configuration Manager or SCCM, or you can deploy using Autopilot. So let's get started. In this video, I'm going to show you how to download ID Fix tools and runs against your Active Directory infrastructure and fix any issues that needs to be remediated before you can set up AD Connect Sync. Let's go to Google here and type in ID Fix Tools. So you want to download the ID Fix Tools, which is this one. Let's expand this. Click on ID Fix Dressing Error Remediation Tools. It is downloaded. Here's the ID Fix Tools. Let's extract that first. I downloaded before a few months ago, so let's use the new one. Let's go to Extract All. Here's the tools, and if you want to read the guide, there's in Microsoft Office 365 guide. You just open this. While it's loading, um, let me go ahead and click on ID Fix Tools. .exe. That's fine. Click OK. Let's see if it's already open. There it is. So if you want to learn how to use ID Fix tool, and here's the document that you can go through, we're just going to run the tools. It's going to explain to you everything how it works. What is character? What is format? What is top level domain? Um, what is duplicate? What is blank? What is mail match? So mail match is this applies to dedicated dedicated only the value does not match mail attribute suggested update will be the mail attribute value prefixed by SMTP. So here's all the errors that you will see when you run these tools characters a special character does not allow like a, a, a space between the uh, UPN um, between the names formats top level domain domain part local part so if you have any questions just go through these tools uh, this um, document now let's run the tools I just ran it and now let's go to query. When I click on query, it's going to query the database, uh, the um, my active, my active directory on prems. So if you look at, look at error, this top level domain. These are all the errors I have um, for these users. Top level domain, so it cannot be the dot logo. It 
if I click on it, go to edit. As you can see, it's dot local, so it cannot be dot local. I'm not going to make any changes here because these um, UPN will not be migrated or it doesn't require to be migrated. So I'm not going to do that here. But if you have users that having um, some kind of errors that, that is reporting by ID fix tool, you need to fix those. For example, like um, let me give you an example. Just say John dot Smith at ABC one two three dot com. And if this is should be correct, but if you have something like John that Smith Hold on one second, my my, my four year old is so John Smith at ABC one two three dot com ABC one two three dot com. So this is not correct. It, it cannot have the um, this characters here. It has to be something like this. And just say if you delete this and you have a space there, this is not correct either. So it cannot have a space. It cannot have a special character. Um, so that's it. And once you fix all the issues with the um, ID fix, and then you go ahead and you, you're ready to run the, um, the AD Connect Sync. So thank you for watching and have a good day.